If you're a coach who's been working with clients one-to-one -one, and you're ready or curious about transitioning into selling group coaching, this video's for you. I'm about to share everything you need to know to make this transition easy and simple so you can start signing more clients, making more money, and making a bigger impact through the work you do. Hey, my name's Jason Moss. I'm a multi-six-figure business coach, and I've helped thousands of coaches launch and grow their business. And look, before we dive in, super important stuff in this video to help you grow your coaching business. But when it comes to getting more clients more consistently. If you're looking for a roadmap that you can follow to help you make that happen, I put together a free client attraction guide you're definitely gonna wanna check out too. Covers so much more of my best advice to help you do this. And all you gotta do to get it is click the link above or in the description down below. So the first thing I wanna cover here is when is the right time to transition into group coaching? There's a couple of things you need to have in place first. The first, is you've gotta have clarity on your niche. You've gotta know who your people are. The thing about selling one-to-one -one coaching is you can kind of customize your offer to pretty much fit whoever's coming in the door. But when you're selling group coaching, really what you want to do and need to do in order to make group coaching successful is to build a more defined process around helping someone create a transformation in their life. And the only real way to do this in my experience, is you've gotta have a narrow enough niche that you can have one process that you can use to help those people get from where they are today to where they wanna be. If you're serving like 10 different groups of people or you're not clear on who your niche is, it's gonna be impossible to do this. And so I see a lot of coaches who are trying to put together these group coaching programs, but they don't even know who the foundations are. In other words, they don't have that niche in place. So the group coaching program is just a mess versus as an example, we have a group coaching program called Coach launch Launchpad that's really designed to give coaches everything that they need to grow their business, get more clients, and scale up to that 10K a month mark. Notice that this is a very clear transformation, and it's also for a very specific group of people, coaches who are making less than 10K a month in their business. Now, if I was trying to serve brick and mortar stores and e-commerce businesses and coaches and all these other people at once, I'd have like a Frankenstein program. It would be very difficult to do this because we've we've gotten really clear on who our niche is, we've been able to build out that program and a process behind it that really works. So the first step is you gotta have a niche and you gotta know who those people are and you gotta be really clear on who those people are first. Now, the second thing is you gotta have a proven offer, an offer that's already been selling. In other words, we have validation that your niche, number one, wants and needs something, and number two, has paid you money for that thing that you're selling. I see a lot of coaches who are jumping into selling group coaching programs before they have what we call product market fit. And so, you know, they end up spending all this time building out these great group coaching program offers and then launching them and they flop because they haven't really taken the time up front to make sure that they've got a niche that really wants and needs something and proof that they can sell something to that niche and clarity on what that niche actually wants and is willing to pay for. So that stuff is super important as well and you wanna make sure that you have those pieces in place first. I also recommend before you transition into group coaching that you do one-to-one -one for at least a year. Now, some of you might say, oh, that sounds like a drag, Jason. I wanna do group coaching. But here's the thing. I love, you know, in the early stages of building a coaching business, doing one-to-one -one because one-to-one -one is the best way to understand who your niche is, what they want, and how best to facilitate that transformation. In other words, how to help them get from where they are today to where they wanna be. And so a lot of the one-to-one -one work that I did when I was first coaching other coaches was about understanding how best to help them. And then later on, when it came to building a group coaching program, I had done so much of that work up front that there wasn't any guessing in terms of what to put in that group coaching offer. And when I started recording trainings and doing you know videos that were more prepackaged and things like that, because we had done so much work up front, really understanding what worked and what didn't with those one-to-one -one clients, I wasn't guessing. I had the answers to the test. In other words, I knew what to put in that group coaching program. See, a lot of coaches skip this. And so they end up putting these group coaching programs together that don't really help people on a deep level because uh, they haven't taken enough time to really understand how to best facilitate that transformation. And the best way to do that is working with people one-to-one. -one. So my recommendation is do one-to-one -one for a year. And then once you're at that place where you've worked with a number of one-to-one -one clients, you're pretty clear on your process and how you help people. That's a great place to start to transition into something 
selling a group program. And finally, the last thing, this is a big one too, is the best time to transition into selling a group coaching program is when you're at 75% or less capacity in terms of your one-to-one -one and your coaching in general. I see a lot of coaches who max out their one-to-one -one calendar and they've got calls booked back to back all day and then they want to transition into group because they're they're overwhelmed and they don't have the capacity to uh, build the back end and to be really focused on building a new offer because all, they're spending all their time doing one-to-one. -one. So you need to, to leave some level of like bandwidth or capacity for yourself to be able to do that. Otherwise, what's going to happen is you're just going to burn out. So the best time to do this is when you're at a place where you're at like 75% capacity. You've got a good amount of one-to-one -one clients, but you're you're kind of close to being maxed out, but you've still got the bandwidth to be able to focus on the back end and building out a new offer. That's the best time to do something like this. Now, the biggest mistake that coaches make when it comes to transitioning into a group is they do not scale their marketing in order to meet the increased demand that they need to fill a group program. A lot of coaches don't think about this, but the truth is when you're selling one-to-one -one in the earlier days of your business, you can do really well. You can make 10K a month with maybe two clients or three clients a month. But when you're selling a group coaching program, generally you're going to need to fill more seats and, and oftentimes you're going to charge a little bit less for group. So you need an increased demand on your lead flow from your marketing in order to fill a group on an ongoing basis. Now I see a lot of coaches who transition into a group coaching program and then they start selling group before they've increase the lead flow coming into their business. And so they might do one launch of their group coaching program and it goes really well. And they're like, this is awesome. I love selling group. And then like two months later, they launch it again and like half the amount of people sign up and they're like, what happened? <laughs> like, I, I didn't change anything. Like my marketing is still the same. The offer is still the same. And then maybe they launch it another time, maybe one or two months later, and then they're struggling to fill seats. Why is this? It's not because the offer wasn't good. It's because they didn't scale their marketing in order to accommodate the increased demand that they needed to fill the seats in the group coaching program. So when it comes to launching a group coaching program, the first thing I recommend is you focus on your marketing first and you increase lead flow as a preliminary step. And this could happen, you know, three, six months before you actually launch the group coaching program. So you've got a pipeline in place of leads that are coming in at an increased capacity in order to fill those seats on a regular basis. I'm not going to get into marketing in this video. We have a lot of free videos here on our YouTube channel that, that that will teach you, you know, some of the principles behind that. This is also a big part of what we help people with inside Coach and Launchpad and all of our other programs, uh, especially when we help coaches scale. It's really making sure that they've got the marketing place uh, to actually support the group coaching program that they're trying to transition into. Super important thing. This is one of the biggest uh, areas that I see coaches miss. So you want to make sure that you have this in place first. Now, when it comes to transitioning into selling group coaching in your coaching business, I have a three-step process that I walk people through to help them do this. And this is exactly what we did when we transitioned into selling group coaching uh, too. So it will work for you. Uh, it's definitely worked for us and uh, the many clients that we've shared it with. And I want to share with you next what those three steps look like. So you have everything that you need in order to transition into selling group coaching uh, without the snags, without the hiccups, without the problems that so many coaches experience when they do this. So step number one, when it comes to building your group coaching offer is the first thing we got to get clear on is mapping out your process. When you work with clients one-to-one, -one, oftentimes, you know, things are a little bit organic. There's like kind of more of like a back and forth there and you can kind of adapt things to like the individual person. But the key to running a successful group is you got to have a really defined process. In other words, a series of steps that you can take somebody through that's uniform. In other words, you know, that, that is consistent across the board, uh, regardless of who's coming into the group coaching program. That doesn't mean that you can't customize things and personalize things on top of that process to kind of tailor things to each individual person a bit. But there needs to be like a baseline process that is in common uh, among all of the clients that you're going to work with inside your program. Otherwise, you're just going to pull your hair out. It's going to be like super stressful trying to run a group without that. So what I want you to do is I want you to sit back and I want you to reflect on, okay, all of these one-to-one -one clients that I've worked with, the people that I've worked with in my niche that I've taken from A to B. How did I do that? You know, if I had to map out like what are the steps that I walk people through in order
order to make that transition, uh, just mapping those out. And that could just be sitting down and, you know, writing those down on a, on a piece of paper. It could be, you know, three, four, five steps. As an example, in our business, when we help coaches grow, get more clients and increase their income, there are there's a four-step process that we follow to help them do that. Niche, offer, audience, and enrollment. Those four steps are exactly what we walk through inside Coaching Launchpad, all of our programs, and getting clear on that process was the foundational piece when it came to building out our group coaching program. So first step for you is to get clear on that. Now, once you have that piece in place, I recommend that you run your group coaching program first as a live cohort style launch. In other words, this is like something that you basically promote for a period of time. There's like a number of people that you sign up for and you take through this experience live. This is what we did when we launched Coaching Launchpad, which is now an evergreen group program. And we'll talk about that in a second. But the first time I ever ran Coaching Launchpad actually wasn't called Coaching Launchpad. It was called Zero to Booked. And it was an eight week program that I ran live with a group of coaches that we walked through that process over eight weeks. And what I like about doing it this way is because it's a great way to basically uh, refine your process and you can kind of collaborate as you're moving through building the trainings and the materials out because you've got a live group of people who are moving through those things with you. And then all of the recordings from those calls ended up becoming Coach and Launchpad. And we've, you know, extended it since then and added a lot of new material. But that was the foundation for Coach and Launchpad when we transitioned into Evergreen. So I like doing something like this as a live cohort to start. Now, long term, I don't love just running live group coaching programs. I think it's better to have an evergreen group program that's always open that people can always join. And there are a number of reasons for this. It creates more stable consistency in terms of cash flow into your business. It's also less stressful because like constantly being in a launch cycle where you have to like launch new things all the time to make money is I think a recipe for burnout. It's not that launches aren't good. Like launches are great. There's definitely a place for launches. We launch things all the time. But the nice thing about, you know, our business is we have that that baseline evergreen offer that people can join all of the time. And so that's providing like a stable foundation in the business. And then on top of that, we can launch things when we want, but it's not like a make or break. In other words, I don't need to launch a new thing every month in order to, to make money. So that works really well for us. And that's why I, I recommend in the long term that you transition your offer to evergreen. And so what this looks like is you can actually take, let's say the recordings from your live calls and you can, maybe put those together in a portal and put together an onboarding process for people and basically set something up so that there's a program that someone can can jump into at any point. And on top of that, you can add live Zoom call coaching, you know, uh, maybe a couple times a week, like in Coaching Launchpad right now, we do at least three live calls every single week where people can get coaching and mentorship and support. And so it's kind of like a hybrid approach where we've got the live coaching and then we've got this really uh, well put together roadmap that we've built and refined over several years. And the nice thing about that is that it's always open so people can come in at any time. And that just creates this stability and consistency in your business, which I really like. So my recommendation for you is once you actually launch uh, something live as a group, then you can transition into Evergreen. And in the long term, you have something as a foundation in your business that's really just gonna create that like monthly consistency in terms of new clients and income. So hopefully this video gave you some clarity on the right next steps to take to transition into selling group coaching. So you can make more money, increase the number of clients that you serve, and just make a bigger impact through the work that you do. As I mentioned earlier, this is one key to success when it comes to running a successful coaching business. But there are a number of other things you got to have in place too, if you want to sign new clients consistently month after month. And so if you're looking for a roadmap that you can follow to help you do that, I definitely recommend that you download our free client attraction guide too. It walks through so much more of my best advice to help you make this happen. And all you got to do to get it is click the link above or in the description down down below. And if you enjoyed this video, you're definitely going to love that one too. So click the link on the screen to go check that out and I'll see you in the next video.